Today is the 27th of uh, July. I am in Delhi. This is uh, close to a headlines at the Times of India, Delhi. Set benchmarks for schools, says Atishi. She urges to increase the uh, curriculum standards, increase the, the patriotism factors in the students, so that the students and the teachers can develop a good ecosystem in developing this country. Hello everybody, Namaskar, I am Ram Babu and you are watching Satya Bhashyam. After the news clipping of Atishi, I would like to take you deeper into the schooling system. Guru Govind Dovu Khade, Kake Lagu Pai, Balhari Guru Aapne, Govind Dio Bataye. This is a famous uh, uh, Doha from Kabir's uh, poems. In this, uh, he awakens us or he teaches us of who is important when both the God and the Guru stands in front of you. Whom will you go and touch the feet first? He further clarifies that Guru is the one who has introduced God to you and to recognize God it is only through the Guru we do that. Hence Guru is on an upper pedestal than the God himself. Why are we talking this? In our formative days from the age of say six months the mother holds up. She teaches you the, the family ethos, the cultural ethos. She really shows you the world around and then the father's turn comes after say 11 months or 12 months where he holds your hand. He'll take you outside, show the world outside. After three or four years you are left at the feet of the teachers in the current education system. The current education system has its own nuances today. These are the systems which are driven by the 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 then educational system of the Lord Macaulay. However, the parents and the teachers have the responsibility of shaping up the future of this country and the future citizens of this country who are the, the students who join the school systems from the nursery to the technical education that they are imparted to. So they spend almost 16 years at the feet of various teachers. In the process they learn so many things of life. The responsibility of the schools is to shape up the student with the cultural ethos of this country, the historical stories of this country which has brought in the, the beautiful stories like historical stories like Ramayana, Bharata and Bhagavata where we have so many role models to go through with, to take up with. Here it is uh, uh, praiseworthy to understand how the Japanese shape up their children from the day go. The Japanese schools does not conduct any examination for the first three years of the schooling which means they do not discriminate uh, the children with respect to the grasping power or the, uh, the reproducing power in, for in, in the form of exams. All the students across the school have common meal which only tells that all of us are equal at the table of uh, the food. Thirdly, all the schools take the responsibility of teaching the traditional arts, cultural ethos of that country. Last but not the least, there are no ayas or the peons to clean up your school before you come there. It is the responsibility of all the school children to clean up their classrooms, bathrooms and every place around the school. Does it sound alarming bells within us? It does because our schooling system is uh, divided in four or five ways. The Islamic Jamaite schools, 
the christian the christian missionary schools the government schools and the private schools run by uh, sishu mandirs or uh, chinmaya machines or satya sai baba's machines m- missions and all the stuff why are we confused because of the introduction of the word called secular in around 75 during the emergency uh, of uh, the late prime minister indira gandhi most of the schools except few like sishu mandirs or chinmaya machines or some temple run schools most of the schools don't allow the cultural ethos to be reflected on the children which mean the girls are asked to remove their bindi asked n- not to wear the bangles or the earrings while coming to the schools aping the the western christianity model or the the middle eastern uh, islamic models the boys are not allowed to adorn a tilak on the forehead and a khada on the head which is a part of our tradition what are our parents doing when 80% of the school should it be a missionary should it be a jamaat most 80% of all the students are from the majority uh, community is it not the responsibility of the parents to go talk to the principals or the headmaster or the the secretaries of the schools to allow and to force them to educate the 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 majority population than just adhering to their abrahamic norms and also there are so many questions which we want to raise on the education system itself but by and large i leave the responsibility on the teachers to teach the historical uh, lessons from ramayana bharata and bhagavata along with your curriculum respecting your parents respecting your country and patriotism patriotism as a forever should be taught at the schools if you have well understood this uh, this subject please discuss with your children discuss with your friends discuss with your relatives form parent teachers associations go talk to them and ensure that we are taught what is due to us i remain till the next session ram babu cheruvu today from delhi